So the mandrel is something we developed over 20 years ago. Instead of using a three-jaw chuck and clamping in the inside using the jaws, a mandrel is something that has a bushing with, with segments that are vulcanized and the vulcanization so it expands. How much do you know about mandrels and clamping the ID? Because personally, I don't know that much about it. So I'm really happy to be on the Heim book stand to find out. So, Matthias, first off, what is a mandrel and what's it used for? So, the mandrel is something we developed over 20 years ago. Instead of using a three-jaw chuck and clamping in the inside using the jaws, a mandrel is something that has a bushing with, with segments that are vulcanized and the vulcanization so it expands. So every time you have a part, you want to clamp it from the inside, you have a bore, the mandrel is the perfect solution for you. So what different mandrels do you do at Heimbuch? So there's a lot of different variety at, at Heimbuch. We have a stand of mandrels. We started with a mando. The mando is round taper, round bushing. The Mando T211 has a draw bolt and the draw bolt will pull down the bushing that expands it so you can you can pull the part so you have also the draw, the pullback effect as we call it. So you're not just expanding, you're also pulling it back against the surface to give the highest rigidity that you need instead of just with a three-jaw chuck having the radial force. So obviously that's what you started with. But well, you brought out a new mandrel now that doesn't actually have a draw bar. It, that's not a new one. We have that mandrel for a long time. It's the taper inside. So we do have one without the draw bar. So it's the bushing where in the backside is a coupling that pulls it down and releases it. So if you have a counter bore or anything small, short to clamp inside and you don't want to have that draw bolt in the part sticking, then this would be the use for that. So what are some of the advantages of using, say, the Maxos? The Maxos is now the newer one. Uh, we, we came out a few years ago. The Maxos, we can see it here. It has, instead of a round taper, it has a hexagon shape, pyramid shape. So now what your advantage is, you can, you can have a lot of higher forces because the torque, you have surfaces that are coming together. You can grease it in those grooves and they're not going away. So 155 more torque compared to the round version that we have originally. And what sort of time savings does that give a customer, say, using one of these over a standard three-jaw chuck? So the three-jaw chuck doesn't have the rigidity, it doesn't have the tool life, so also your tool wear is going down if you don't have a proper clamping. So with the bushings that are vulcanized, it, it reduces the vibrations and gives you the rigidity so you can use higher forces in lower axial forces needed. And we can look at that on the other side as well. Yeah, so as we just walk around to the other side, Obviously, I've never used a mandrel for ID clamping, and after listening to uh, what I've just been told by you, I really wish I had. So, what does what are you showing here on on this board? So, on this graph here, where we're just compare, where we're just comparing the uh, the three jaw chuck clamping, the mando with the round taper, and the Maxos, which is the hexagon taper. So, for everybody who doesn't know, we compare it with like cars. So when you look at the, the graph, it has the axial actuating force on this side and the torque, the transmissionable torque on the other side. So we took, we took cars on it. So the, the jaw chuck would be a Golf 1 as a torque. Then we have a Mercedes E-Class and on top the Maxus would be a, um, a BMW M1 with the torque. So you can see with less axial forces, you can use a higher torque or you have a higher torque. And I think what's great on this board as well is obviously you've got the swarf. So that shows how much swarf you can get on the same amount of time using the different versions. Exactly. So that's what you asked earlier. How, how am I better with a Maxus? So the removal rate of, of your metal, you can see this really, really good on those, on those shelves that when you're using a three-jaw chuck, in the same time you have less chips than using a, a Maxus.